gonna stop and say yes I'm got it ready now gonna show you how tell me do you like this game let's pretend it's true it's me and you and all our friends like the musk hounds and is about to enter the palace of Versailles, where he intends to meet with King Louis XIII. Our hero is about to report on what he has just seen near the French border. Someone to see you, Your Majesty. Why, what a pleasant surprise. You weren't expected for some time yet. What brings you back to the royal palace, my friend? It grieves me to have to be the bearer of bad news, Your Majesty. I could tell by the look on your face that something was wrong, son. What's the problem? Please tell me. Your brother is at it again. He's been impersonating you and behaving quite rudely to the Duke of Bavaria. The Duke was so completely offended, he's getting ready to return to Bavaria tomorrow at dawn, and so he won't be signing your peace treaty either, sir. Uh, no. He's got to sign that pact immediately. Otherwise, all our allies will lose their faith in us. That could be just ghastly. It could mean the end to unity in our country. Precisely. So I will go to the frontier with you. But I've got to shield my true identity. Yes, that is best. No one must ever suspect I have a twin. That's right, Your Majesty. We mustn't do anything to risk your life. Your brother can't know it's you. Well, here's an idea that could work. Why don't I go disguised as one of you? As a muskahound, I mean. What do you think? Excellent idea. Why not? You'll find me a uniform. Once I'm dressed as a muskahound, I'll be prepared. I must not provoke suspicion. I'll simply reveal I'm on a fact-finding mission. Uh, sir, with your consent, may I just take an hour to see Juliet and the children at home? Of course you may, Dog Tanyan. Sandy, and get something to eat. I'll come and get you when we're ready. Mama! Mama! Look who I found! Fleur, <laughs> <laughs> dear, please don't 
lash out like that. Oh my, Doc Tanya! Juliet! <laughs> <laughs> it's all good to see you, Juliet. How you been? Well, I'm much better now that you're here. Are you hungry? Yum! Yeah! Yeah! Juliet, I'd sure like to stay, but there isn't any time. You see, the King's twin brother is trying to ruin the good name of our country, and I can't let that rat get away with it. Certainly not. I've got to act quickly. Otherwise, that scoundrel Blankback will succeed in driving the Duke of Bavaria right back to his homeland. Hello? Anyone home? <laughs> I get it! I get it! <laughs> well, if it isn't Fleur! I'll bet you're the most beautiful puppy in the whole world. <laughs> Aramis, Aramis, draw your sword. I challenge you to a duel. Aren't you gonna fight with me? Uh, uh. Sorry, son. We'll just have to wait until some other time. Well, who do we have here? You muscahound sure didn't take long finding your way back to Paris. How are you, Juliet? Once we gave Bougeot's sentries the slip, the rest of the ride was easy. I had a talk with His Royal Majesty. He's going to accompany us to the frontier disguised as a muskahound. Well, the only one who can make the Duke change his mind is the King himself. If you ask me, we shouldn't waste any time. Let's go as soon as possible. Gee, you must have read my mind. Because there's just enough time to gather together our supplies and ready the horses before we're supposed to meet His Majesty. Aren't you forgetting something? I'm not letting you muskahounds go anywhere on an empty stomach. Gee, did someone say food? <laughs> Just leave some for us. It's gonna be a long ride. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Oh, I think I ate too much. Oh. You've done it again, Juliet. Thank you. Aramis is right. That was really scrumptious. I'm glad you liked it, everyone, but now it's time to go. Okay. A fond adieu, <laughs> madam. I'll sure miss you, Juliet. <laughs> Please be careful, won't you? Bye. Come back Fleur. soon, Papa. Okay. <laughs> hey, Dad, wait huh? a second, huh? What do you want? Will you take me with you? You said I was a really good swordsman. Well, son, you are truly courageous, and that's why I want you to stay right here Aww. and protect your mother and your little sister. Gee whiz, Dad, that's what I thought you'd say. Bye, so now. Goodbye, Juliet. I'll be back as soon as I can. So long, toots. <laughs> Bye. We're gonna, gonna miss you. you. <laughs> the king is faced with a very serious predicament. And it's up to us to help him solve it. I'm rather looking forward to exposing that villain Blanc Beck. Yeah, and old Bujo. Let's not forget him. Absolutely. Those rogues are a disgrace to our country, and we aren't going to let them get away with it, are we? We're not. For the honor of France, one for all men. And, and all, all for one. one. Hip, hip, hooray! Whoop. Well, who have we here? Hmm? <laughs> wow. Follow me, men. We're going to finish off those musca hounds once and for all. Hmm? Hmm. How were you able to return to Paris? Your horses were gone as well as your clothes, and yet you got here so soon. It was lucky for us that an old peasant came our way. We convinced him to give us a free ride back to Paris. Just imagine how glad I am you were rescued. You are a lucky man. That's hardly an apology, you stinking mutt. Huh? Apologize? Are you out of your mind? Our actions are beyond all reproach. Why, you I oughta... Now calm down, Aramis. You don't have to resort to hostility. That's not how I see it, Porthos. Our crude friend needs to be taught a little lesson. We don't need to make this into an issue. Now, if you'll just move aside, we'll be on our way. No, I'm afraid not. First, you've got to offer me an apology and admit that you were the ones behind our ambush in the forest. Sir, you have no reasons to make accusations like that. First, you all discredit me in the eyes of the king, and then you play the heroes by coming to our rescue. Why not just admit it? <laughs> but you, sir, never had any dignity in the first place. Whittemer, you are a blowhard. <laughs> Whittemer. <laughs> Did no one ever teach you manners and decorum? I will not tolerate your accusations. Bring guard, Monsieur Wimmer. Oh, 
at you now. I'm coming to help you, poor those old pal. Go away, you little pest. Scram or I'll beat you. Thanks for the help, Tim. Sure. What are friends for, buddy? And I'm not even going to charge you. We got them on the run. We finally got them on the run. What? What? Well, I'll take care of him. Hey, big shot. Well, that's what you get for being overconfident. Oh, why that mouse always have to pick on me? Oh, my bunions. Let's take this out. Oh. Up you go. Hey, you guys! You should watch where you're going! Yeah. Uh, Surrender! Uh, uh, you, sir, I must admit you are not a worthy opponent. Uh, what's that? I'm not capable of defeating the Muscahounds all by myself. Oop. Wait for me, man! Dip. Hooray! I got it! We'll stop by the palace, pick up his majesty, and then be on our way. Sounds good to me, Dog Tanyon. And once we get to the frontier, we can get to the bottom of Blankback's devious plan. Uh, I don't know what to do with you, Widomer! I've never seen anyone so completely inept! <laughs> Shut up! Ooh. Quick reflex! Cardinal Richelieu, haven't I told you repeatedly? You should get rid of him. He's such a fool. I do wish you'd hold your tongue, my dear milady. What about your spies? They were supposed to help me. I am surrounded by fools. <laughs> surrounded by fools. <laughs> <laughs> that stupid crow gives me the creeps. Listen to me, my lady. You as well, Widomer. Of course, Your Eminence. Spy on the king. My lady, I want you to inform me of every move he makes. Now be on your way. Hmm. <laughs> and I want you to follow him. Understood? Widomer, there'll be no mistakes. Yes, your grace. Yes, your grace. You'll follow him to the end of the world if necessary. Understood? Yes, your eminence. Yes, your eminence. Yes. Stop repeating yourself! No, oh, of course, your eminence. I wouldn't dream of it. I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> oh, get <to> you. <laughs> what are you waiting for, Widomer? Be on your way! <laughs> <laughs> Now disguised as a Muscahound guard, King Louis has joined Dog Tanyon and his friends. A hundred pounds of cheese on the wall, a hundred pounds of cheese. Knock one down and give it around. We've got to prevent the Duke from leaving for Bavaria, but will we arrive in time? I have no doubt that we will, Your Majesty, but in order to make it, we must ride at a gallop all the way. Look up ahead, man! If I'm not mistaken, it's Richelieu's men. That's who it is, all right. Huh? What's going on? Wake me up when the fight gets underway. If you want my opinion, we should avoid Widomer and his men. The reason is obvious. Uh, wow, well, I just had a nightmare that Widomer was following me. Aramis is right, Your Majesty. If Widomer finds out who you are, we'd have to offer an explanation. We chance missing the Duke if we delay our trip. I'm Muscahound now and will take my orders from you, sir, my commanding officer. Don't worry, sir. If the Cardinal's guards want trouble, they're going to answer to me. Doug Tanyon, I'm not concerned. I will stay here at your side and do what I can to help. Oh! What a pleasant surprise. How nice to see you and your group. But you're trailing us again. It's turned into a habit. And I'll continue to follow you until I determine what you're up to. That's none of your business, and please move out of our way. 
If you want me to move, my friend, I'm afraid it will take sheer brute force. Uh -huh. <clears throat> They're accompanied by a brand new companion. Yes, friend, who are you? Someone who's not terribly fond of you. Now move out of our way. We've already wasted too much time on you. I'd be glad to give you lessons on using a saber. I'll show you, sir. I'm glad you stumbled. Let me at him. Yeah, that away, kid. I like your style. Oopsie daisy. Watch it, Sandy. Ouch. I only hope Dog Tanya knows what he's doing because this thing could get out of control. <laughs> What in the world? Stop it! You're embarrassing me! Oh, hey, what's the Meanwhile, still misrepresenting himself as his brother, the king, Blancbeck shares a campsite with the Duke of Bavaria. <sighs> oh, your majesty, why not warm yourself by the fire? Mm. Now, Petersen, sir, mm. I say this despite your rude conduct. Your Majesty? Ah, yes. This mm. smells marvelous. I bent over backwards, attempting to get along with you, but your behavior makes a rhinoceros look refined. Hm. Mm. <laughs> Be sure to have a good trip back to Bavaria. And, uh, Duke, sorry you haven't appreciated my warm hospitality. Retreat! Hey, you come back here! Let's get on guard and look sharp. We have to be on our way. Hold on, sir. I'll be with you in just a minute. <laughs> well. <clears throat> sir, we have to be going. We have a long ride ahead. Yes, sir. Whatever you say. Yeah. Whoa, slow down. Hey, take it easy, will you, pal? This could be dangerous. <laughs> don't say I didn't warn you. All right, if you fall down and break your legs, just don't come running to me. Goodbye on good riddance. By now, the king is aware of our tricky little scheme, so Dog Tanyon will probably be arriving at any time. So go now and break camp. We'll be leaving right away. Yes, sir. So as the Duke's entourage set out for the long journey back to Bavaria, Bujo and Blancbeck, ever the cowards, made ready for their own departure. Forward guards will go through the thicket! Huh? All's gone according to plan, hasn't it, Majesty? Yes, I must admit it came off quite well, and we can expect that the Muscahounds will seek revenge. I imagine that everyone in Paris is now aware of our little scheme, but I'm afraid the rot has already set in, hasn't it? Get up! Oh. A bunch of horses coming up behind. Let's hide from them. I don't want to run the risk of anyone discovering your true identity, Your Majesty. We should dismount. I heard something, sir. Huh? What? Mm. We should split up, sir. Yes, you'll take one group, and I'll take the other. That way we can cover both of the roads. Yes, sir. Duke has already left us and gone back home? Oh dear, that would certainly be a shame. I'm not going to give up yet. Let's try to catch the Duke. Oh great, I love it when the horses gallop. Blanc Beck won't get away with his devious scheme. Onward, follow me! I'm get out of it, Sandy! Yeah. Hmm, that's curious. I'm sorry to alarm you, sir, but five riders are approaching at the gallop. 
Perhaps they're only traveling the same direction as we are, but if they approach the carriage, be prepared to fight them. Could we have just a moment of your time, oh, please? Man. Hello, sir. I realize this is a little out of the ordinary, and I don't wish to bother you, yet I must. My associate here has ridden all this way to deliver the Duke of Bavaria a message from King Louis. Sir, those riders do not pose a threat to your safety. They are here on royal orders, and they say the king has an important message for you. So the king has changed his mind, has he? How unfortunate the damage to our friendship is irreparable. You'll tell him I'm not interested. Sorry for your inconvenience, but the duke does not wish to see you. We only need a moment of the duke's time. I can assure you that he won't be disappointed again. On this, I give you my word as an honorable gentleman. Thank you, Dog Tanyan. I trust he will listen to reason. <clears throat> Your Excellency. When last we encountered each other, sir, you were interrupted. Yes, indeed, sir. I wasn't able to explain myself. And since then, my friend has traveled with me to the frontier. He'll quickly clear up this riddle, and you should listen to him. Dismount and follow me. Go ahead, sir. You have my full attention. Majesty, what do you want with me? Are you... Please let me explain. It was a trap. The person you were speaking to wasn't me. Ah, sir, something tells me you're trying to pull my leg. But I suppose it's possible you're telling the truth. Sir, the king you met previously is an imposter who was plotting against us all the time. I have a twin brother who has been posing as the king of France in order to embarrass me in the eyes of my country. But I would like to apologize, because I know he has put you through inordinate, needless suffering, and I only hope you can put this all behind you and allow our countries to join mm -hmm. together in mm -hmm. peace. You know I will, Your Majesty, and I shall also plan to put our peace treaty into effect right away. Thank you, Duke, and may we treat this untoward incident with my brother as a top-secret matter of state? Certainly. Good. And now, Duke, if you would be so kind, would you accompany me to my court? I would be delighted! Majesty? What is this? There. Ready? Mm -hmm. We are going to Paris and you will follow the King's guards. Yes, yeah, sir, but I thought that... Better not keep our friends the King waiting. Thanks to the brave Muska hounds, the king was able to reach the duke in time to clear up the cruel misunderstanding promoted by his jealous brother. But as they ride on to Paris, one must wonder whether we've seen the last of the evil Blanc Beck. Help! Ah! In our next exciting adventure, Pip gets a bit carried away, as usual. His flight of fancy turns sour and he winds up falling head over heels. And once again, it's the Muska Hounds to the rescue. Meanwhile, having made their peace, the Duke of Bavaria and King Louis continue their journey back to Paris. On the way, the steadfast group is ambushed by Blancbeck's henchmen. But the king has a surprise or two up his sleeve, and Blancbeck is beaten at his own game. Join us again next time for another episode in The Return of Dog Tanyan. Uh.